Hey friends, today I'm going to be showing you some incredible Disney World and Disneyland theme park used props that are for sale and also I'm going to be showing you some movie props from one of my all time favorite Disney movies, 101 Dalmatians. So let's go do this. So I'm not too sure where I should start off because there are so many amazing things in here. First thing I have to point out though is the Walt Disney World Main Street Emporium window display for 101 Dalmatians. Take a look at this. This is at Walt Disney World in the Emporium and I think it's so amazing. Have you ever seen anything like this before? So beautifully put together. I remember just staring at these windows. It probably was uh, put there for the release of 101 Dalmatians, I would guess. But wow, this is truly an amazing piece. It's selling for just around $25,000. $25,000 is a big price tag, but I mean, look at it. It is amazing. You guys know how much I love Dalmatians. I have a Dalmatian Gracie, and today we're gonna be seeing a lot of Dalmatian props, even ones from the movies, the live action movies, that I think are so unique and cool. Like I said before, there are things from Disneyland and Disney World. Here are a couple Disneyland items from California Adventure. This is for the opening of Cars Land. How crazy is that? You have some Radiator Spring signs. And then right here, this banner was actually used on the wall. And you got a little photo there. Look at that. That is so amazing. This is $495. But like I said, this is from the opening of Cars Land. So... Very cool, and if you're a big fan of California Adventure, it'd be a nice thing to collect. All of these items are for sale, so if you're interested in buying them, I will put all the information below. I'm at the Lakeland Antique Mall, and you can call them, email them, and they can put things to the side. It's really awesome, and some things, the prices are marked, and sometimes they're not. So I'll try to do my best with the prices, but if you have any questions, like I said, you can just reach out to them. All the information will be in the description of this video. They always keep the good stuff in the glass. And let me tell you, this is one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. These are puppies from the live action movie, 102 Dalmatians. Unbelievable, right? Because they couldn't actually have puppies playing all the time. They created these like life looking like puppies that they used like in the background. So it looked like there was 102 Dalmatians or 101 Dalmatians. And they come with certificates of authenticity and they're just so amazing. This one, you actually breathe into, like you blow in hair and it makes the puppy's like stomach look like it's moving. How crazy is this? They look so amazing. They even have oddball. <laughs> Oddball is one of my favorite. Which one is your favorite Dalmatian? I think they're selling for $5,295. That is so cool though. To own like a piece of movie magic like that, unbelievable. My favorite thing about shopping down here is because you can see like very high priced items, but also you can buy things that are relatively like inexpensive for the price to actually own a piece of like Disney World or Disneyland. I've bought things for $10 and there are things here that are $50,000. Even some things like higher than that. And it's just so cool to see the variety of things that you can buy. Right above the Dalmatians, they have some other cool movie props. This is from King Arthur. This uh, drum is from Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Oh, that's really awesome. And this is the Alamo. And they all come with certificates of authenticity. I don't know if I see a price on most of them. I just see the certificate themselves. But I think that is so cool. A couple more Dalmatians over here. These are actually from the Disney store, it looks like. That is so amazing. Vote for Corella DeVille Halloween time. The next couple of items I'm going to show you are really unique and I never thought I would get so excited over tables but I think it's pretty cool. Right here is an Epcot Food & Wine Bistro table. How awesome is that? I mean if they had a garbage can that would be amazing too. This is $325 on an Epcot table. Not too shabby but right over here these are so amazing. These are tables from the confectionery. Can you believe that? Look at it actually shows you like how they actually had them inside the confectionery and there's three of them so there's like three different sizes. These were used to like present different things as soon as you walked in. Right now I think they're going for $1500. Still unbelievable. I love all the work on the legs. 
wow that is a collector's item but right here definitely one of the coolest things i've seen a magic kingdom prop podium this was used in the emporium as like a help desk as you were walking around the emporium can you imagine owning something like this wow so amazing i wonder if these drawers open oh, they do that is so cool holy moly the Emporium Podium is selling for just about $800. Isn't that like a tongue twister? The Emporium Podium. Emporium Podium. Emporium Podium. $800. I think that is such a cool piece and it's a really nice podium. I'm not too sure what I would do with it, but I would probably really like standing at it. Speaking of tables, also, I've never been so intrigued with chairs. Take a look at this. This is a Magic Kingdom Tomorrowland Terrace chair. Wow, $95. These are so cool looking. I remember sitting here for the uh, Happily Ever After dessert party and you can just kind of sit back, relax, and watch all the fireworks. This is so amazing. A couple more amazing items. They have these grocery store banners and you can see they have like frozen foods, pet foods. The fruits and veggies has like a little reflection on it, but it's actually Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Bear. I think those are really cool. These were actually hung around different uh, grocery stores and they're selling it all together as a set for just around $1,200. Another awesome thing though is right here. This is a bunting from the Emporium. Like actual Emporium, look at it hanging right below it. $225 for that. Still, like I said, it's such an amazing piece. And there is just like, it's, it's just never ending here. This is a Minnie's uh, outfit. This is an actual Minnie Mouse costume dress with bow that they used on one of the characters. This is about $3,000. Animal Kingdom Lodge lights. Those are really awesome, and this is really popular. Very heavy, though. This is an Animal Kingdom Lodge headboard, $795. I've seen these a couple of times, but they, they sell pretty quick. There's this random cart here full of different framed like posters and artworks, and I think every single thing in here is so awesome. I know I say things are awesome, amazing. That's because like I, I don't know how else to put it because I'm always in wow when I find something, even if it, it doesn't even like have any relevance to like something very big. As long as it was like a theme park used prop, I'm like, this is so cool. Little napkins, little papers and flyers gets me so excited. These are all like little tiny posters and things that they actually had hanging in uh, the park. So like for instance, this one is kind of cool. This is from uh, Disneyland Grad Night. You can see Chaperone Headquarters. I think that's amazing. $225 for that. And then over here, oh yeah, this one, Magic Night at Disneyland. How cool is that? That is $125. You can see how old it is down there. 1979. Oh, and this is a safety uh, banner. This is with Goofy. Oh, wow. I love this. Eye safety. Jeepers, creepers, protect those peepers. Oh, this is so cool. I don't see a price on it, but I love it. Earlier, I was talking about Superman props, and it's just one big, gigantic prop, but I'm going to show you that now because I think it is so cool. It has not much to do with Disney, but it's still really awesome. Isn't this so cool? It's a street setting right here, and this is from ABC. Oh, so this isn't for Christopher Reeves. This is for Lois and Clark. Oh, wow. Still really amazing, though. And this is like a miniature scaled down street. And they use this as filming for the TV show. And it's selling for just about uh, $2,500. That's not too shabby. And then also, take a look at all these amazing items down here. Some really cool Mickey advertisement things for cornflakes. And then a couple of other really awesome trophies, souvenirs. There is so much to take in. Also, Donald. Now, I did talk about this Donald last time. This is a Walt Disney theme park mechanical Donald Duck. $4,600, but look at him. Isn't that amazing? Speaking of Donald, there's another really cool Donald prop that's a dive bomber duck. And I think this is really cool because I like the way Donald looks in this. I'm glad I stopped back over here, but take a look at that. 
these were inside the uh, Disney stores. This is selling for just about 1700. This is an original Disney store prop right here. An original. But look at Donald in there. So amazing. I think you get everything here. So it comes with its certificate of authenticity and I think you get it all. I mean, that is such an amazing prop. It's pretty big too. A couple of other Disney store props. You can see this right here. Very fancy and actually has a certificate of authenticity on the back there. Almost everything has a certificate. So that's really cool because it comes from either Disney Anna conventions or auctions. And speaking of that, check this out right here. This is really, really awesome. This was basically a welcoming gift for the Disney Anna convention. And it's a bag and when you open it up, it actually has all the information about the convention. So this was never actually given out. So all the stuff in there is accurate. You get your badge everything this book so amazing look how old this stuff is and it's just preserved in this little luggage so cool another really awesome thing is some props for a hunchback of notre dame and i feel like that movie doesn't have a lot of props out there like these are from not the movie itself but from within the park and because they don't have any attractions it's hard to come by like i've seen parades before with quasimodo but like to find props i feel like that's a rare find they were actually all from within Disneyland. So like these were actually Disneyland used props. And you can see this one is $495. The banner itself is $295. Still really cool though, like a, a big piece of like prop culture right there. If you guys watched my video recently, I did one of these silhouettes for the first time at Magic Kingdom. And this is an actual prop, like advertisement that they had hanging there. How cool is that? $75 so this is either like a Main Street USA prop for $75 I think that's that's well worth it and then over here they have some Trader Sam's items and this is awesome because if you were looking for like those first edition ones this is a first edition Nautilus that's from Walt Disney World they have a couple of menus back here look at that oh look at that Donald Duck root beer barrel $225 for that so cool and then they even sell the little stirrers for trader sam's that's awesome i don't think they're making these anymore 10 bucks for those very cool like take a look at these this is really cool because coming up soon it's going to be walt disney world's 50th anniversary or 50th birthday and they used to give out these little pins for the birthday so this is right here the original walt disney world birthday pin from october 1st 1972 and then it goes onwards to 1973 1974 all the way up to their 12th birthday which was a horizons pen how cool you get the whole set for 995 dollars i think these are super rare and they used to hand these out to the cast members i really wish they did this still but i don't think they do i could spend hours going through here it's a little hot in here though i have to say i don't think they have much air circulation back in this gigantic warehouse that's kind of what it is it's an antique mall full of different boots and vendors so you'll always find amazing things here it's not just a disney prop store like it's everything there's hundreds of vendors hundreds of people trying to sell amazing things and i'm just so lucky to come down here and just check this stuff out and also be able to buy some of these items it's just such a it's, it's such a fun thing i get so excited a couple more really cool items we have plates from mgm studios these are 95 dollars. i'm not too sure what restaurant these are from but if you guys know let me know in the comments i mean i think that's really awesome they also have grand floridian and contemporary plates look at this that is so cool i love that retro walt disney world logo on there 65 dollars they also have the checkbooks these are still very popular liberty tree tavern look at that and then in the back spoodles and then this is the sand trap so awesome a nice poster 125 dollars for this it's tough to be a bird and a couple of really other awesome things oh this is cool this is something that you could have bid on right here and this was a pirates of the caribbean experience with disney legend alice davis bidder plus one guest so you get to ride 
the Pirates of the Caribbean with one of the Disney legends. Estimated value $4,000. It's on sale for $65. Well, I think that's just the advertisement for it, but still really cool. A lot of these are from the Disney archives. So this is a Walt Disney archives tour right here. You can actually bid on this. Estimated value $5,000, $65. And then, ooh, over here, this is a badge from Donald Duck. I'm not too sure what this is. Donald Duck saved these bags. Oh, wow. $245. These are little bags. That is so neat. Let me know in the comments what's something that you would probably want to buy here. I always like to ask that question because you know some people have different things you know obviously the most expensive thing is like probably something somebody will want but like passion wise what's something you would want i would either want that podium from the emporium because i think that's so cool a confectionery table or definitely anything to do with the 101 dalmatians i mean you got to it's so amazing i'd be happy taking home one of those little puppies it would be so awesome i wonder if gracie would like it i bet you she would I love Halloween season and earlier we seen vote for Corella for the Halloween time at Disneyland sign but look at the ones over here we have Mickey's Halloween party we have vote for Ursula Halloween time in Disneyland oh they even have the evil queen one these are only uh, $85 that's not too shabby and then down here is something so amazing these are decals or window stickers for the monorail how cool is that? They put in a nice little glass case. So these were on the monorail. Disney monorail window cling, $195. Look at that. <laughs> I like this one. But also, I might like that 50th anniversary one. Happiest homecoming on earth. Other than really cool Disney and movie memorabilia and props, they have so many amazing things in here. And you can just browse for hours. It is such a massive place some really cool automobile collections this is an actual midget or like a midget race car and look at this this is probably very old i think this is actually from 1970s so cool and i like how they have a sheep in there now i'm gonna head home and i'm gonna show you guys some of the really cool things that i got here today and also some of the cool things i have at my house including my dalmatian gracie because this i kind of feel like it was all about the dogs it was all about the dalmatians a dalmatian main street window dalmatian puppies from the movies so fun puppy but so much puppy fun anywho's we're gonna go home and i'll show you all the cool stuff now that i'm home take a look at this princess look at you Yes, who's your baby girl? Who's my pretty girl? Aww. Oh, look at her new nails too. She's got her nails done. Nice little pink nails. <laughs> you should see all the Dalmatian stuff I saw today. Yeah, but you're my favorite Dalmatian. <laughs> She's so happy. And then over here, this is uh, one of the things I ended up getting today. Take a look at this picture. Isn't that beautiful? It's Epcot. And it's a sunset. You guys know how much I love sunsets. And I think it's just beautiful. Now, we don't know much about this. It was actually hanging in one of the executive's house or offices. And uh, there's no description, no nothing. And I thought it would be really nice. You like it, Gracie? I think she likes it. I also picked up a couple of other things there too because I thought these were amazing. And then there's one more thing that I actually got while I was just thrifting, like going at a uh, thrift store that I was like, wow, this is so cool, but it really doesn't have anything to do with Disney, but I still wanna show you. Right here is that Magic Night in Disneyland poster. I had to get it because it was so cool. It was 1979. Unbelievable, right? I think it's so amazing. And then also, the monorail decal for the 50th anniversary. I thought this was cool, so I was like, well, I think I might wanna add that to my collection. Speaking of collection, this is something that I got the other day. <laughs> and I thought that that was a little funny because this is from, I believe, the Tower of Terror. And uh, yeah, isn't that so unique just to have one of those? I mean, I know like it's not like something really fun and happy, but it is something that we're gonna remember for a long time. 
one of the things I like to do is I like to go to the thrift store like Goodwill, Salvation Army and stuff like that. I like to do like different types of like thrifting and hunting but also I like to find frames because I have so much stuff that I still need to frame and framing is actually very expensive. So I like to try to do it myself. Sometimes I think I do pretty good. If it's a very valuable item I will have it like custom like made. Uh, I won't do that because you know it's, it's valuable but I came across these frames at the Hope Thrift Store one time and I ended up buying them but like the picture that's in one of them is really really cool as you can see I have a lot of stuff that I need to frame including this really awesome Bambi that I got the other day I think that's awesome but I still need to get a frame for it so I came across these frames and then I found this one frame with the picture in it and take a look at this it is a haunted house and it looks pretty old I mean look at that so awesome there's a skeleton up top and i think that's a uh, chip chip witch sandwich cart and you can tell by the people it looks like it's in the 80s and all it is is has a writing and it says dr richards dr richards but isn't that cool some of the strangest things that you'll find you know Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. If there are anything that you've seen down at the Lakeland Antique Mall that maybe you want to buy, like I said, I'll put all that information in the description below so you can check it out. It's such an amazing place and so many cool things. Like, honestly, today was so fun because I love the Dalmatians, you know? I think the Dalmatians probably got the most of me because my little crazy girl. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!